we need to talk a little bit more about Class Cake Pro. So most of you used it yesterday and learned how to use quite a bit of it. But there are some other cool things that I want you to be able to see. When you click on the link in Google Classroom, it's going to take you to this page where you just have to type in your name. You need to decide, am I going to type in my first name with a capital letter or my first name and my last name with capital letters? Whichever you choose, every time you click, you sign in to class kick, you need to make sure that you use the same thing. Because what happens is if you sign in with your first name capitalized, and then the next time you come back, you sign in with your first name capitalized and your last name capitalized, and you're trying to see the same assignment, you're going to end up starting a new one. So maybe you go have lunch and you come back and your computer shut down because you forgot to charge it. That happens and you got kicked out of class kick. When you go back to sign in, you need to use the same exact name. Every once in a while, this might happen and it says, oh, that's the same one. Oh, I thought it came up that way. It didn't. Every once in a while, it's going to ask you for the class code. Right here, it provides it. But um, sometimes it asks for the class code. If it does that, just get a hold of your teacher, and your teacher can give you the class code super easy. So I'm going to log in. And here's my lesson for the day. First thing I want you to notice is this cool little four square waffle. I like this piece. What you can do is click that and you can see what your whole assignment looks like from one place. Okay, so it can, you can kind of get a look of what's going to happen in your assignment and how many pages you have. You can choose pages for your assignment from here. So say I worked on it for a while, went and had lunch, forgot to charge my computer, had to come back and get on, and I'm on this page, I can choose that page to play or to continue. So that tells me I'm at page six out of nine pages. But maybe I want to go back and check my work and I want to start with slide number one. So all I have to do is click one. Another way to move through your assignment is to click these arrows. You can click them here, you can click them back and move through your whole assignment. The next thing at the top that I want to show you is the little help inbox. The help inbox shows you times that you've asked for help and gives you the information there. So if I clicked the little hand over here and I say, Mrs. Scott, I need some help and I raise my hand for help, that's going to, I can type in a message here, this page is hard. I need help with adding. Be sure to tell your teacher what you need help with. Don't just tell her it's hard or she can't help you back. But once you click, um, once you click on it, then your um, information will show to me. And once you get information back, up in this little raise hand, it shows you the feedback that you get or the information you get that helps you with your question. So then I can put my hand down. So that's white again. Okay, the next thing that you can see is this little bell. What this little bell means is that Mrs. Scott or Mrs. Johnson or Mrs. Clay, your teacher, has gone back and looked at your work and given you some feedback or told you about the different pages in your assignment and how you did. That's where you can find the feedback. Down here, let's start with the zoom out and the zoom in. You know what zoom out and zoom in does. Of course, it makes it smaller and bigger. This little arrow tool is pretty important. If you're trying to click on something and you're not sitting on the arrow, arrow tool, it's not gray, you won't be able to click something in the assignment. 
This is your pen tool. Your pen tool can be used to write. Okay. You can also change the color of your pen tool. And you can also change how thick your line is if you need a thicker line or a thinner line. And then this is your highlighter tool. Same thing, you can choose your color. You can choose your line thickness. And then you can highlight something. If I didn't want that highlighted, I can click my eraser and get rid of just that one. Or I can get rid of just that line. If I decide, ew, that looks really messy, I don't think I want to leave that there, I can click the eraser and I can clear all. Clear all only removes the pen and the highlighter lines. Okay. Another cool feature is a text box. If you want to type in, say you have to write a sentence. The dog is green. I don't know. So the green dog. Here we go. So I have this text box and I can change the color of the text box. I can change the color of the text. Change the color of the text box. Okay, that's kind of hard to read. I don't think I like that. So if I want to, I can get rid of the text box by clicking the trash can. I can also draw a line. These are pretty handy. We had to draw a square in math yesterday, some square tables. You could use this line if you don't like using the pen tool to draw some squares. The other thing that this line would be handy for is if you have to draw a timeline. Say I have to draw a timeline. And I just do some short little lines. To get rid of those guys, all you have to do is click on the line and you can hit the trash can or you can click on the line and hit delete on your keyboard. Delete, delete, and delete. Okay. This one's pretty fun. I might use this tool. Let me show you that one again. I might use this tool that looks like a little chain. It's called, it says add link. In science, I might ask you to um, look up quail and give me some fun facts. Give me a website about quail that has fun facts on it. So first you would have to go to fun facts about quail. Oops, spell it right. Four kids. If you add four kids on the end, it brings up things that are easy for you to read. So I'm going to choose this first page and I'm going to check it out. Ooh, I kind of like this page. If I don't like this page, I can always use my back button. And I can check out a different one. Maybe I want to check out this one. Do I like this one? There's some key facts and information that's pretty good. It doesn't have a picture, which isn't as much fun. But you could pick either one. Then you go to the top. This is called the URL. If you make the URL or the address to this page, if you make it blue, go to edit and copy, or you can two finger click and copy then you need to go back to class kick and choose that add link button. It looks like a little chain. Got to give it a title. Quail fun facts. And then you can two finger click or you can go back to the top and do paste. I'm used to the two finger click and paste. There's my URL or my website address. And I'm going to click save. And here is my quail fun facts. When Mrs. Scott clicks on the link or whatever teacher you're working with clicks on the link, they'll see the page that you chose for your quail fun facts. To get rid of it, if you don't like it, just click the three dots, hit delete. When it comes to your lesson, since I'm down here, 
any time you see a box like this that says click play and it has the little arrow, you need to click play. That's information that your teacher added for you to learn from or to help you learn. So please, every time, click play. Power up lesson 77. Scroll down for more. There are 5,280 feet in one mile. Write that number using digits. Okay, so then you would write that number. Or type that number. All right, back to the top. You can use the camera to add images. You can upload from your computer. So I have lots of images because I've been making worksheets. So maybe I choose to add this one. I can open it. I can choose part of the image. Maybe I just want this blue part. Or I can just use the whole picture. I can click Next and I can click Finish. And it's kind of slow. And there's my picture. They come up really big, so I have to size them down to the size that I want. I just grab the corner and bring it down. Maybe I decide I don't think that picture looks good on here because this is math and we have worms on this page. We don't have spaceships. What was I thinking? I'm going to get rid of it. Just click the trash can. You can also take a picture with your camera. So maybe you have an assignment where you're to go make something and then take a picture of it and put it onto your screen. Maybe you like to write with paper and pencil to solve your math problems, but it says to show your work. You could go to the camera and take a picture of your work and put it on your um, assignment page so that your teacher can see the work that you did with a paper and a piece of pencil and a piece of paper. The last thing here is add audio. That's how I do the recordings on your assignment when I showed you where it says click play. You can do recordings too and you might be asked to do that. You click the audio button, hit start recording. Anything you say will be recorded when this timer is running. When you're finished talking, you can hit stop and save. Of course, I make mistakes when I'm talking quite often. Maybe I listen to it. Hit start recording. Anything you say will be recorded when this timer is running. When you're finished talking, you can hit stop. Now maybe I didn't like the way that, that recorded. So I can delete it and I can do it again. Or if I like it, I can leave it on the page where I decide to put it. I'm going to go ahead and delete it though because we don't need it. Okay, and we talked about this. Up at the top is the name of your lesson. And then way over here on the right, this is the code for this assignment. Not something you really need to worry about. If you wanted to sign out of Class Kick, this is where you would sign out. And right here it says zero of five points. That's my grade for this slide. So I have something I need to fill in down here. That means there's a problem on this page that I didn't solve because it's at zero right now. So I'm going to put in a number. And uh-oh, I got zero out of five points. I got that wrong. I better go back and fix it. If it doesn't give you your points, you need to fix it. 5,280 feet. Let's see, did I get it right? I got it right, so I can go on to the next page. Check to make sure there isn't anything else below. This is like a full sheet of paper. Some of our assignments, most of the work will be at the top. Some of our assignments, there'll be work all the way down to the bottom of the page. And the last thing you need to do when you are done with your assignment, click your raise hand button and click your please check button so that your teacher knows that you're done. So now I'm ready for page two. I have one question on page two that I'll answer. Click to the side. Oh, I didn't get that right. One thing I know for sure is wrong with this one. There's no dollar sign. 
but I also didn't do the math in my head either. So make sure that you do the math correctly. You add your dollar signs and your decimal points. You add when it says to add. You listen when it says click play. And you'll do really well on your assignments. That's all I have for Class Cake for right now. If I come up with something else that's really cool to show you, I'll let you know. Have a great day.